I'm the two hairstyles. Zendaya, Zendaya, you can't be doing this. Zendaya, you my baby. But this is probably the worst hairstyle I've ever seen on a female. It's the caffeine in this shit. It gets me tweaking, bro. It, it gets me buzzing. Anyway, what's good, YouTube? We got worst hairstyles, man. I got a lot to say about this because look at the start. Like, look at we look at the first image we looking at. What is bro got going on? Yeah, let's let's check this out, man. The worst types of hairstyles. You can tell a what lot about hell? a person just by what design they rock on top of their head. How someone chooses to wear their hair is a pretty good. Uh, design. and by the way, you guys know what my hair look like. I got a little, you know, uh, what would I call it? Just a curly high top. So, something like that. Reflection as to who they are as a person. I got nice whether hair. they're a middle aged man going through a divorce. What y'all got? Whether they're a rebellious teenager who just discovered Nirvana music for the first time. Or whether they're a lunatic that's addicted to some type of hardcore narcotics. Nah, I ain't revealing my hair right now. I ain't gonna lie. Very important. Looks which is why I get so confused when I see some of you walking around with these disgusting, atrocious, shameful. Atrocious, shameful, devious ass hairstyles. It's like some of you niggas go to the barber shop and play brush roulette with your hair. I don't know what be going through some of y'all's head when y'all choose these hairstyles. Why do you <laughs> willingly choose to put your head? Yo, does he have the Nike swoosh? <laughs> this cruel and unusual punishment. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be discussing the worst types of hairstyles people can wear. Disclaimer: This video is nothing but pure jokes. So if you happen to have one of these <laughs> Yo, hairstyles, don't take it personally. Also, by the way, I do have a Discord now. If you guys do want to join, the link is in the description and the pinned comment first we got the infamous meteor crater aka the bald spot Not oh my god if you got a bald spot just go bold bro like just go bold man something like that don't cling on to nothing you either go bold or you go to turkey you got two options pick your poison now the meteor is this hairstyle where there's hard. one humongous bald spot sitting dead in the middle of someone's head. This hairstyle closely resembles what a meteor crater looks like. You usually see niggas who are going through a midlife crisis rock this iconic hairstyle. I remember this hairstyle being a go-to cut for almost every single math teacher I've ever had. The shit that pisses <laughs> me off about people who have this is why don't you just go bald? Granted, we all know how awful being bald is. I mean, who genuinely wants to look like Walter White from Breaking Bad? I can't. If I lost my hair, I can't lie, bro. I'm going to Turkey. First flight to Turkey. I'm not even gonna lie to you, Chad. That is my that's my option. Cause I can't lose my hair, bro. I can't. But I'd much rather have that Mr. Clean cut any day of the week over this sad attempt to keep my hair alive. And then what really gets me is that you niggas have the audacity to still go to the barbershop and continue to get haircuts. Like, you know, you dead what are they cutting? into that barbershop with half your scalp missing, still trying to get a fucking lineup. If I was your barber, i do what you don't have the courage to do and get rid of your hair for you. Next, we got the mullet. I know y'all remember this classic bar. Oh, business in the front, I have to party agree. In the back. I to this to day, agree. I still believe this is one of the worst phrases to ever In 2024... Be if you rocking a mullet, you low key get no play. And I stand on that, bro. I'm like, who is messing with you in 2024? Come on, man. In the English language, the mullet is a hairstyle created for people that can't make up their fucking mind as to whether they want short hair or whether they want long hair. So they quite literally just combine the two hairstyles. Zendaya, Zendaya, you can't be doing this. Zendaya, you my baby. You my baby. Come on. You know, you're not my number one baby, but you up there. You know what I'm saying? You can't be rocking this style. You still look good. Don't get it twisted. And that's how you know you fine. But this is probably the worst hairstyle I've ever seen on a female. Oh, no. But she still make it work. <laughs> it disgusts me that at a point in time a few decades ago, this hairstyle was actually a trend. Whenever I think of someone rocking a mullet, I just think, what was the purpose of this? I don't know why, but people who have a mullet just look musty. They just look like your stereotypical <laughs> hillbillies that don't believe in taking showers, putting on deodorant, or brushing their teeth. They give off the vibes of dudes who walk around with a shotgun strapped to their back, a cigarette in their mouth, and a beer in their hand. Now, granted, the mullet is a hairstyle that has borderline become extinct at this point. Ew. Every now and then, I see some psychopath in the mall still walking around with this shit. Looking like he just came straight out of a 1980s rock. That's what I'm saying. It's the 80s. The only person like the 80s. in human history that could make this hairstyle look swaggy was the GOAT Larry Bird himself. I think it's about time oh, to yeah. put this hairstyle to rest. Just make up your mind. Short hair or long hair? Not both, nigga. Next, we got the spike head. What? What even is if I kill my mom, I wanna hear For tonight will be the night that I will fall for you Over and over <laughs> 
is hey this shit, bro. You deserve to get hey hit hey in the head with a baseball bat hey just for wearing this goofy ass <laughs> shit, bro. It literally looks like someone stole a sea urchin from the bottom of the sea and put it on their head. Now you was trying to be a super rock, saiyan kids, so bad. You can almost guarantee that someone with this hairstyle only listen to hardcore dark metal music. Emo, you know the music emo where they're vibes. not even saying words? That's they're the quite literally name. just screeching into the mic. Another name for this hairstyle is called the social reject. You commonly see people who are exiled from social gatherings. You know, I've never actually seen somebody walk around in real life with this haircut. And I want to, because I want to know how I'll react. Because, <laughs> like, I feel like these people don't actually exist in real life, bro. Hey, am I, am I tweaking? Have you guys actually seen somebody that looks like this walk around in public, bro? Rocking this bullshit, but then there's another huge problem with this hairstyle. It's Xander, a you got a mushroom, you can't talk. Okay, fuck you, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. If I got a mushroom, this mushroom pool, bitches. How about that? How about that? Curly ass mushroom. Okay, I own it. It look good. <laughs> you just hate it. It's cool. It's cool. It's Safety cool. hazard. This hairstyle could actually poke someone's fucking eyes out. Hair that looks like this should fall under the same category as a deadly weapon. To be honest though, let's ignore how awful this hairstyle is for just a second. How on earth is it even possible to make your hair look like this? What concoction of gels did you put in your head to make your hair do this? I'm almost more impressed at the dedication and commitment to make your hair look like this than I am disgusted. You know, even though this hairstyle is atrocious, and I would never consider wearing this it shit. It is a commitment though, because they gotta do that. Every Beyond morning, right? Whoever invented this is one creative ass motherfucker. Either that or he was high out of his mind. Either way, you gotta give the man his props. Next, we got oh, the Sonic the Hedgehog ass cut. <laughs> That's the most accurate description of the ass. I'm not gonna lie. Top hair designs. Listen, I think subtle, kind of low key hair designs are okay. I used to do but that if back one in the of day. Niggas who turn the back of your head into an art project. We need to talk. I want you to understand Rally. how much of a disappointment you are to everybody in your family. Now it's one thing when little ass kids get these nasty ass designs drawn in their. Bro, story time. Bro, I came into school one day with like a line in my hair. <sighs> Worst decision, bro. Cause like, nigga, they put me in solitary confinement. They were like, it's a distraction to the kids. I'm like, what? Is gang affiliated? They were trying to say all times to shit like I was some thug. Yo, ma'am, I'm like 13 years old. What is you talking about? It's a distraction to the kids. And they, they didn't let me in class or nothing. Like, we're back in school till I got that shit, like, faded. So I had to get it refaded. And basically, I just went bold. They just gave me a skin fade. I look ugly, clapped as hell. For like a week till it grew in, you know what I'm saying? Like they really done me dirty, bro. Ahead, those little niggas get somewhat of a pass, but there's no reason why, as a grown ass man, you should be walking around with a giant star in your head. I'm looking at you, Drake. And then some of you get the most shit. Now that that time. that Drake, only Drake, only Drake can pull that off, bro. Loki, like I ain't gonna lie, that that little you know hard thing, only Drake can pull that off, bro. And then some of you get the most that's glazed. Design. I think that's glazed. Like actually, logo, my fault. Whatever the fuck this zigzag thing is, nigga, is that a lizard? What is the fascination you people have with completely embarrassing yourself? Do you have no shame? The amount of stupid shit I've seen niggas get drawn on their head is disgusting. First of all, do y'all know how much confidence you have to have in your barber to pull this off? All it takes is to mess it up even a little bit, and now you gotta walk around with this on your head for the next. Uh, uh, was that a rat? He had a rat on his head to pull this off all it takes is him messing up even a little bit and now you gotta walk around with oh, you got a rat on your head with an actual rat tail <laughs> yo this is creeper like he's a, he's definitely a creep he definitely i can almost guarantee you he try to go to any female they run in the other way bro 100 percent on your head for the next two to three weeks one small little fuck up and you're walking around with the mustache man cut listen i love my barber as much as the next guy but i'll bro, never have on. enough confidence in him to do something like this what do you even say to your barber in order to even get a haircut like this what do you even ask uh you just say simply yo barber can you fuck me up in the most violent way possible and they'll give you that Type shit. Uh, yeah, type, man. Like, Can you go like, ahead and give me that like Batman what? symbol? And how do you not feel any type of shame for even uttering those type of words out of your mouth? Or, or, or just say, I just want a little off the top. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying, chat. I just want a little off the top. And then they proceed to that whole head off, bro. The whole thing off, bro. No coming back. It's over. You're done. <laughs> Like, do you know how many times I was on the verge of crying, bro? <laughs> Especially when I was younger, bro. I hate, I hated getting haircuts, bro. Cause my barber just, it's like they don't listen. 
They don't listen. I said a little off the top. Bro, bro proceeded to cut months worth of hair, bro. Months worth of hair off my head. I was like, fuck that. I ain't never getting a haircut again. And guess what? I ain't got a haircut in like four years, chat. I ain't touched my hair in like four years, chat. I'm traumatized. I'm traumatized. Outrageous ass hair designs need to be banned from ever being worn again. Next, we got the turn around and die. Now, the turn around and die is a hairstyle notorious in the emo turn and goth community. And it's die. almost like a requirement to even call yourself emo. This hairstyle closely resembles the hairstyle of someone's depressed stepmom. I'm pretty sure people with this hairstyle I've never seen a black person with hair. What the hell? For the first time. That's the only way to explain how what in God's hell? name you end up looking like this. The one thing I never understood about this hairstyle is how the fuck can you see anything? This hairstyle gives whoever uses it a natural handicap of only being able to use one eye at a time how is wearing your hair like this not the most annoying thing in the world just imagine having to walk around with your own hair in your barber cutting my facial hair when i was trying to grow the beard listen bro you probably he's probably doing you a favor man that that beard is probably not even like looking right okay so listen he's probably doing you a favor on that one i'm not gonna lie to you i all day i don't know how y'all do it bro next we got draves now if you're looking at your screen confused as hell as to what in god's name is a drave consider yourself yeah, what is lucky. It? and yes it does look just as stupid and goofy as the name implies what is this goofy ass cut what is this now this needs to be banned ace anybody that has this cut needs to be banned I don't know what from. They just need to be banned from getting any type of haircuts, any doing any type of styles, bro. Lies. Dre's was a hairstyle that became popular on TikTok a few years ago. They're basically a combination of both waves and dreadlocks. You could you know, pick keep one? With you. When I first heard of Dre's, you I couldn't pick that one. A joke. You know, I thought it was this funny little meme that people had came up with. Not once did it actually dawn on me that this is an actual hairstyle that people wear in public. First, I just want to ask, how much of a pain in the ass does this hairstyle have to be? Think about how hard it is to maintain good-looking dreads. Now think about how hard it is to maintain good-looking waves. Now imagine having to maintain both, both. Of these hairstyles <laughs> at the exact same fucking time. Uh, I guess you got to give him a little credit then. If it's that hard to maintain, you got to give him just a little credit where credit's due, man. But I, I wish I seen a nigga with, what did he call it, chat? Dr I don't even know what he called it, bro. But dreads and waves at the same time is, he must spend at least five hours a day on his hair. <laughs> Minimum. Again, you can almost never go wrong with either of these hairstyles separate. We all know the bitches love a nigga with some nice freeform dreads. And of course, we all know that waves are an iconic and classic type of hairstyle. Wait, oh, Chad, which one do you like? Uh, do you prefer dreads, waves, or, or, or curls? Drop in, Chad. I want to know. Or Which one's winning? Which one's winning right now? Time is a war crime on humanity There's only one right answer. Come on, don't I have disappoint no me. clue who invented this demonic ass hairstyle, but whoever that nigga is needs to be caught and charged for his ungodly crimes. Next, we got the man bun. <laughs> you said me? <laughs> you said me? Okay, then. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like curls all winning tight, tight shit. Like, tight shit. Right, come on. But whoever that nigga is needs to be caught and charged for his ungodly like, 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 come on. <laughs> Chad, Chad, Chad. You making me blush, man. You making me blush, though, for real. You know? Godly crimes. That's the Next, right answer, the bro. Button. To be real with you, I'm kind of conflicted about the way I feel about this hairstyle. Because on one hand, there's just something unnatural about a man rolling his hair up into a bun like this. It's something about this goddamn Make hairstyle that just crazy. looks off to me. Like, why you walking uh, around with that cute-ass bun on top of your head? Whenever I see a dude with a man bun, I just want to take a pair of scissors and cut it off. <laughs> nah, now, nah, to be honest, that's some a small percent shit. of men that can actually rock a man bun. I can't lie. But to the other 99% of men, please never do this to yourself. Putting your hair in a bun as a man immediately decreases your aura by at least 50%. And your intimidation. Ooh, maybe him, but that's Cap. That's uh, I'm sorry, Stop that's Cap, cap. man. I've seen some good man buns, bro. Especially like if you do it right. You know, when you have them curls, some days you don't want to write the cur curls out, so you just put it up in like a bun. Or like you got dreads, you put up in a bun. You telling me that that Killmonger style was not hit? Yo, who remembers when Michael B. Jordan had the little bun in the dread? What? He almost had me fold into. Whoa, that's crazy to say. Pause. I mean, folding isn't like I'm about to get dreads. You know what I'm saying? I said to myself, I'll never get dreads. But he almost had me thinking, hmm, dreads won't be so bad, you know? You feel me? Chat, relax, 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 relax. Pause, to score pause, by at least 90%. Relax. There's just no way Don't I do can that look at me, you bro. in Don't your eyes that. and take you serious. If you're that shit was fire, I'm telling you. Bun, I'm telling you. I'm the saying. only valid excuse for ever tying your hair up like this is if you're cooking, 
cleaning or going into a pool. That's it. And finally, I want to talk about one of the biggest mistakes in the history of the USA. I want to talk about an iconic hairstyle that goes back to the creation of our country. A hairstyle that goes back to the Christopher Columbus days. A hairstyle that might take the cake as the dumbest and ugliest invention ever. Powdered wigs. Powdered wigs were those gray, curly wigs that rich people used to wear back in the bro day. Wearing They're the wigs that you pretty much see every person wearing in those old paintings. A few hundred years ago. Why did they wear that though? Go. These wigs were some considered drip. This was the hairstyle that was trendy. Looking at these hairstyles makes me so thankful that for how far fire. humanity has come. It blows my mind that at one point, niggas <laughs> used to pull up on bitches like this. Back in the 1700s, bitches' panties used to get soaked looking at these crusty wigs. It's should insane get this. to me how this was the cut of our founding Tell you fathers. Hate. Who knew those niggas were so swagless? Tell you, you just want to see my downfall, bro. I'm, I'm convinced you guys just want to see my downfall. Looks like someone took a mop and slapped it on top of their head. Man, oh man, how far society has come. But with all that being said, that's about it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe. Man, W video, man. I agree with most of the... Yeah, all of the takes, actually, to be honest. You know, W video. Hey, subscribe to my boy.